What's going on, everybody? It's Pokey Soup, and in front of you is a very small eBay deals video. <laughs> it has been it has been a slow two weeks ish. I have not done a lot of purchasing, and that is because of what I purchased. Now we're just gonna leave that nice stack of goodies right there till last. So <laughs> we're starting it off. I do have three Gym Heroes packs. They came in, and of course, these are just going to go towards the next big vintage opening that I have. So, I'm always looking to pick up sweet vintage packs. Got some Gym Heroes this time. Did not have it in the last opening. Picked up another one of these Pikachu promos from Japan. I really, really liked it, and you know, I decided I'd like to have two. So, I think it was like 23 something dollars from Japan. It's very cool with the legendary Pokemon there. Okay, envelope. What can it be? Oh, it's sad they kind of shipped this in an envelope, but I have another vintage back. It's Legend Makers. Legend Maker. No S. But yeah, got another Legend Maker pack for the vintage opening whenever I end up getting... Another 36 packs. I'll do another video. Okay. We have another. I know, I know. In the last one, I picked up a Mewtwo Gold Star. Well, I ended up picking up another. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> but this one was half the price of the other card. And it's in very, very good shape. It, it does have a um, little bit of edge wear. But still... Half the price, slightly worse condition. It was a steal. We have uh, one full art here from XY Base, the Evil Tall. I did not have this, and I wanted it for my binder. Finally was able to pick one up for like $18. Very, very nice card. I love it. It's such a beautiful card. And not not least or last or whatever, um, <laughs> Flareon. It's a first edition jungle holographic. It was really, really cheap. It's in pretty good shape. It's like maybe excellent. No. Eh. It's in excellent plus condition. So, <laughs> yeah. Very cheap on that one. Decided to snag it. And I have another card here. I have to pull it out of my PSA stack. Okay. Picked this up. Gyarados Gold Star. It was about $75. What a good deal for a mint Gyarados. Like, the problem was uh, the corners on this are just like the Arcanine that I pulled in the first vintage video that I opened. Like, the first big vintage opening. It has these strange corners from the factory. They're, they're a factory error or factory problem. And it's not uh, like the card's aftermarket condition. So I'm still going to get it graded because it is otherwise perfect. Once I get that, uh, not Gyarados, once I get that Arcanine back, I will know what kind of uh, grade I can be expecting from this card. So yeah, that was a good deal. And we are <laughs> going to look at the, uh, oh my goodness. This is the biggest purchase I have ever made. I could have bought a very old booster box for as much as this lot, but it has so many cards that I wanted for my, you know, collection. I wanted these cards. I wanted to complete my Gold Star set. Uh, that's still a long ways off, but this is a huge step closer. So thank you to Steel Scizor. Thank you, dude. We made a great deal, and I am super, super appreciative of uh, these cards. So, let's kick it off. We got a Mudkip Gold Star from Team Rocket Returns. This thing is beautiful. Now, these are not the prices. They're not going to be accurate, so don't don't mind the, uh, the Sharpie uh, top loaders. But seriously, Mudkip Gold Star. We have a Regirock Gold Star. This is from Le Legend Maker over there. That pack that we just got. This is that set. 
We have Vaporeon Gold Star, another one of these. I know I already sent one off to PSA. This one's definitely going as well. Very excited about it. We have a Celebi. This is my second Celebi Gold Star as well. Very, very cool. I love Gold Stars. They're just gorgeous. I was able to pick up the entire Legendary Dog Trio. <laughs> I was super excited. We have Raikou. We have Entei. And we have Suicune. All these beautiful gold stars. And we also got the uh, trio. Uh, where's Vaporeon? Here it is. It was the trio of the Evolutions. So Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon. Very, very nice. These are not in, I want to say, uh, PSA 9 condition. So I'm not in any rush to get them graded. I think they might be like 8s or something, maybe 7, but still. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I love, love, love gold stars. And not a gold star anymore. We have Lugia EX. I've wanted this EX for so long from Unseen Forces over here. This is a beauty and fills a huge slot in my Lugia collection. Oh, that's such a cool... I remember watching Steel Scizor pull that card in one of his videos. I treasure this, dude. I treasure it. We have Lugia. This is a crystal-type holographic Lugia. It is gorgeous. This card is incredible. And, yeah. It's definitely... It's immediately going to PSA because I don't want to hurt this thing ever. Oh, it's such a beautiful card. We have a Charizard Gold Star. One card that I never thought I would own. Oh my goodness. This is a beauty. And I am also immediately sending this off to PSA. And just for kicks, I went ahead and got this Shadowless Charizard from his, him as well. This is my third Shadowless Charizard, so... Building kind of a collection here. <laughs> this one is not nearly as a uh, good condition as the one that I got graded, but it's a re it's about the same condition as the other one that I have. It's a very cool card and very just great to hold on to. Something I don't really want to let go is those Charizards. So that's that's really it. Um, if you know the value of those cards, this video was. Uh, possibly even more expensive than our, my normal eBay videos. But it was uh, less stuff. Quality of cards versus quantity of stuff. So, hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the giveaways. And let me know what your favorite gold star was. I'll see you guys later.